Hi, this is Rico Marilyn Arizari at the Bobby Brooks Show, and we have three incredible young men. They're the team Clickers, and they're going to introduce themselves, and then they're going to tell you about their talents and passions. You are? Hello, my name is Show Money, CEO and President of Money Click Entertainment, a.k.a. Team Clickers. All right, and you are? I'm G Sharp, I'm Vice President of Money Click Entertainment. And? and I'm Kay Bev, CFO of Money Click Entertainment. All right. Last but not least. So tell me a little bit about how you got together, when you got together. Well, he came out first, 1980. <laughs> 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 so I'm thinking came it's out true. meant birth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not the other way. carried it out further and me and my cousin you know we came out four years later so all right. 84 we're a different generation but yeah all three of you related yes yes all three. Yeah. okay Beverly. very good yeah. so you started it i wouldn't say i started it it just came to me through got through the most high basically you know like i would um chill with the older guys and they was freestyling and, you know, drinking their beer, smoking their weed, and they be freestyling and it sound like they was like really like artists though. Because, uh -huh. you know, they vibe, everybody was in tune with their vibe. So I kind of picked up on that. I was like 12. You know, my brother was eight. And all the other homies, they was like about 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So I used to just sit and admire them. You know, and then I was like, one day I just ran in the house and I told my mama, like, Mom, I know what I want to be when I grow up. She was like, what? I was like, I want to be a rapper. She was like, all right, well, if you want to be a rapper, then, you know, you got to pursue your dream, you know. And that's where it really started. woman. Yeah, that's where it started at, like, 92, 93. All right. And then how did you decide? Were you just in awe of your brother? It all started like in college. I played football in college, so um, I had a lot of teammates that were Cali from California. We were actually out of state in Idaho, all right. playing football on a scholarship. So um, I started performing. Doing, we started doing our own shows, and, um, just organizing things for music, and you know, having fans come and throw parties, basically for the you know try to organize a movement with the music, like performing as well as a party. So we have a black and white party with the music. Yeah. Right. Live performances, with stuff like with food and stuff like that. And then when did you get him in? Well, Cuzzo, he was he doing his own thing. <laughs> the cold part about it, it it's, it's just crazy because when bro came home from college, you know, I was still, I was, everybody was, our whole family is musically in tune. Yeah. In, in tune. Right. So. It's just crazy how it came to us. And then Cuzzle, he was doing his own thing too. You know what I'm saying? And then we just all just formed like Voltron. That's really yeah. how that happened. <laughs> I was 18 years old, University of Oregon, freshman year. I got on my first track ever with my, my cousin Sharp right here. All right. It was my a, brother and I are both musicians, but we're very different. Mm -hmm. It doesn't always work that you have the same tempo and the music is the same for all of you. True. But the passion right. and that innate blessing from the Most High. Right. right. I so think that overrides everything. Yeah. Yes. The thing Absolutely. is, well, everybody represents something. Everybody represents the same thing, but it brings something to the table that's different. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. different flavors. You know, I rap different, he raps different. And he raps different. You know, we all do different things, but it all comes together to yeah. represent the, the same, creativity alone. The same just a different variation of sound. Right. Basically, you know. And what is your greatest desire? How far do you want to take it? How far do we want to take it? Man. We just want Man. to keep taking it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Never let it go. We, wanna, we don't want to be able to generationally. Not okay. We don't want to be able to not create. No cap on your dreams. No cap. Right. No cap. No cap. Right. You just keep going. It's a tangent line. It just runs forever. That's what yeah. you want to do and keep creating. It's, you know, there's no artists and old. Yeah. You know, there's old actors and 
old musicians, they still have jobs. Yes. Absolutely. Right. Because that music that you created, it, it goes forever. Well, I've been you singing for over 45 years. Yeah. So mine started when I was this big. Right, right. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. <laughs> just trying to, just trying to feel like just trying I'm to get singing in the so season and stuff. So what we have, you know, we have a lot of good music. Well, it sounds like you have everything it takes to go to distance and then some. Well, you got to have a drive and a willpower, yeah. and you got to be in, you got to be conscious of the most high, mandatory, you know, to even be able to do anything that's worth something to other people that is looking for hope, you know, so. It sounds like you have an invaluable gift to give to the world. Oh, we do. Yeah. I wish you the very best. Thank you. We appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you again. We're at the Bobby Buck Show. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Bobby birthday. Buck. Happy Bobby Buck. Happy Bobby Buck. Right, so you're going to be building. hearing them in just a few minutes. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you.